This is the assembly instruction video for the 2023 Circus Tent display. Showing is a list of parts and their quantities. Be sure to go through the shipper and make sure all parts are accounted for and their quantities. Before you begin assembly, go through each part and remove any excess waste and discard. As well, pre-fold all scores for a more successful building experience. Start by locating the front and right side, as well as the back and left side. Place these parts print side down and align tab to slots. Fold the locking tabs flap inward on top of itself. Then just start the tab. Make your way down to each tab, only starting the tab entering their slot. When you get to the last locking tab, again, fold its flap on itself as well start this tab into its slot. At this point, begin fully inserting all the tabs. When you're finished, unfold the locking tabs flaps. This will secure the two pieces together. Fold the sides along the three scores lengthwise to form a square tube. Fold the locking tabs flap in on itself and just start the tab. Now work your way down just starting each of the remaining tabs. At this point, begin fully inserting all the tabs. When you're finished, reach inside and unfold the locking tabs flaps. Before you stand the base upright, fold its bottom flaps inwards 90 degrees, then stand upright. Double check all tabs are securely inserted into their slots. Locate the pop-up cards lug on. There are three total. These have six tabs and will need to go into these six slots. There is a top to these pieces. There are the peg hooks. So insert the bottom tabs into the bottom slots. Then fold the four sides up, inserting each of the tabs into their respective slots using access from the top of the display to help insert and lock tabs into place. Locate the top of the tent. Position it with the print side down and bring in the two ends to help shape a four-sided pyramid. Fold the minor flap in 90 degrees, insert the inside tab first, and insert the locking tab second. Be sure they are secure and unfold the locking tab's minor flap. Connect the yellow flaps by again prepping the locking tab and then inserting it into its respective slot. Then fold out the locking tab's flap. Repeat on the remaining sides. Align the tent's belt tabs to the top's larger horizontal slots. Also note that the side with the signs do not have any slots. Lower the top and insert the belt tabs into the top's slots. Snug the top down and work on the opposite side. Force the top down to where it's snugly on top and the belt tabs are fully extended out. Secure the belt tab by bending over the top portion and inserting into the smaller horizontal slots as shown. Locate the oval lug-ons. There are three total and each of them have four tabs. Note that the bottom tabs will go underneath the tent top. Start by inserting just one at this time. After it's fully inserted, 
fold the rest of it upwards and insert the second bottom tab. Working in the top area, guide the two tabs starting into their slots and carefully fully insert the tabs into their slots. Repeat on the other two sides. Locate the flag lug-ons. There are two. They may have shipped with scrap shown here in red. Carefully remove that scrap and discard. Set both pieces print side down and align tabs to slots. Lift the minor flap up 90 degrees and start one tab and then start the other tab into the respective slots. Secure by pulling the tabs all the way through. Fold the lug on at the two creases at that attachment point as shown. Lift the other side up, square up this end as done prior and insert the tabs into the slots as done prior. Carefully, fully secure the tabs into the slots. When attaching the flag slug on to the tent top, be sure the tabs and the slots line up. Ease the flag lug on into place, inserting and only starting the tabs into the slots. Check to make sure the center tabs are going into the tent top and ease into place, securing the flag slug on. Locate the bag with the 33 peg hooks inside. These peg hooks will not go on the side with the signs. Instead, will go where there are 11 peg hook holes on the black art sides. First, insert the back upwards and then downwards, secure it in place. Finish with 11 peg hooks on this side and then on the other two sides. Then load the display with product according to the planogram. Congratulations, it's complete.